Hey campers, Rena here coming to you from Florida. I'm going to teach you a little bit about the difference between a sea turtle, a tortoise, and a terrapin. They're a little bit different. So uh, a sea turtle, of course, lives in the ocean. Turtles are all reptiles. That means they lay eggs, they have scales, and also that they are cold-blooded. Now you and I are warm-blooded. It's called an endotherm. We get our heat from the inside of our body. With, tur with reptiles, they get their heat from the sun. It's called ectothermic. So whenever they're basking in the sun, they're getting their heat. Turtles, are the temperature of them internally is the same as the water temperature. So we can kind of stay warm um, even if, when we're in the water, even if it's a little cold. But turtles will have the same temperature as the water themselves. There are many turtles in the world. Some that lives on the land and some that lives in the sea. This is a terrapin. A terrapin is a freshwater turtle that lives in fresh water. They usually have webbed feet um, and you usually find them in ponds or, or lakes or things like that. We also have tortoises. This is a desert tortoise. They like to live in the hot, dry climates, but we also have a lot of tortoise species that will live in Texas as well. But we can tell this is a tortoise by um, its claws as well. You guys can see that there's no webbed feet. That's how you know that it doesn't swim in water. So the first way you can tell if it's a turtle that lives on the land or the freshwater, or if it's a turtle that lives in the sea, is by looking at the shape of its shell. By looking at the shell itself, we can see if it wants to be in the water or on the land. Why can we say, why do sea turtles want to have a flattened shell? The whole goal for sea turtles is to be hydrodynamic. Everyone try to say this. Hydrodynamic. The purpose of being hydrodynamic is to move smoothly in the water. It's kind of like aerodynamic, if you've ever heard that word used when building planes. You want to be aerodynamic to move smoothly through air without drag or anything resisting you to be able to fly as easily as possible. With turtles, it's the same thing, but in the water. The sea turtles want to have a very flattened shell. This way, they are hydrodynamic. It's called streamlining, if you remember with the sharks. They want to have kind of a, a flattened shape, a streamlined shape, so that whenever they're pushing it against the water and swimming, they can move through easily. It's like if you were to throw a torpedo through the water while you're swimming in a pool. It'll go all the way across the pool. But if you have a, a large round bouncy ball and you throw it under the water, it doesn't move very far. It's the same as if you were to do a pencil dive. You do a pencil dive, you put your hands right next to your body, you stand up straight and tall, and you jump straight into the water. Usually you go almost to the bottom or hit the bottom with your feet. But if you do a belly flop, if you put your hands out and your legs out and you flop onto the water, you're going to stay at the surface. You usually don't hit the bottom unless it's a really shallow pool that you're jumping into. So having that shell shape reduces the amount of drag. It uh, reduces the amount of resistance, um, pulling you backwards instead of moving forward. And exactly what I said, they want to move as smoothly as possible through the water using the least amount of energy as possible. So if it has a flattened shell, it's a sea turtle, lives in the ocean, and spends a lot of its life uh, swimming. If it has a really tall dome shape, it's going to be a tortoise. And if it's right in the middle, it's probably going to be our terrapin, our freshwater turtles. Another way you can see if it's a land versus sea turtle is its flippers. Now, we don't call these fins. We call them flippers for a very specific reason. Flippers will actually move and swim. Fins will stay planted. So if you think of the dorsal fin of a shark, like we dissected last week, that fin is planted. Dolphins have a dorsal fin. Sharks have a dorsal, pin, uh, dorsal fin. It doesn't move. But sea turtles and sea lions will use those um, flippers to be able to swim. 
They have those slippers and they can't fit them inside of their shell because their shell is so streamlined. But turtles that live in the fresh water or on land, they can put their claw, their arms, their legs, and, and their neck all on their shell for protection. But sea turtles can't protect themselves in that way. Another thing you can see to determine if it lives on land or the sea is by looking at its claws. Like I said, for terrapins or our freshwater turtles, they will have webbing in between their claws. That means they need to use those webbed feet to swim. Tortoises won't have any webbing. They'll just have claws. Sea turtles do have claws, but you guys can see this claw right here. And right, well, it's kind of hard to see on that side, but they have one or two claws on their flippers and it allows them to hold on to the rocks in the ocean. But they don't really, since they're not crawling on the ground, they're flying through the ocean with the greatest of ease, they don't need those claws. So those are the ways you can tell if it's a sea turtle or a, a turtle that lives on land, a terrapin. Now, if you ever see a turtle that looks like this trying to cross the road, I have a couple tips for you. For our terrapins, we have a lot of these guys that will cross the road or um, get themselves in unsafe situations. Here's what you do if you ever find one in the middle of the road. One, don't touch it. Try to keep it um, moved off the road a little bit, but don't pick it up and put it in your car and transport it. Turtles really only stay in their same territory, usually only moving about three miles. So there's probably a pond or stream somewhere very close by, and you want to keep them by their territory. Now, like I said, we also have a lot of tortoises that live in Texas. A lot of mistakes people make is, is uh, thinking that an animal that they're picking up would need to go into the water, but tortoises don't. Any tip for rele uh, releasing or rescuing tor turtles, tortoises, anything, is you want to put them on the sand, um, and if they want to go into the water, they will go. So put them in the grass, put them on a riverbank, put them on um, the bank of a pond or anywhere near water source, but don't actually put them in it. With sea turtles, sea turtles are endangered species. All seven of the sea turtle species all are either endangered or threatened depending on their location. If you ever find a sea turtle, you need to call somebody who is a professional. We have a turtle hotline in Galveston. It's 1-866-TURTLE-5. So depending on the tur where you find the turtle, somebody will come out and be able to rescue it and put it to safety. Or bring it in so it can be healed and then re-released back into the wild. Sea turtle. Catch you on the flipper side.